Our Doctrine Evangelist Church of Jesus Christ here in the sunny city of Hopkins, South Carolina. Uh, Pastors Bishop Silas Myers Amen. and we in the Saints welcome you again to come along with us and praise God in the beauty of holiness. Yeah. We're here to passionately reach and genuinely love. Amen. Again, we ask you to come along and help us and pray with us that we reach our goal. Yeah. It's not a real goal to reach, but it's a journey. He asks you to help us along our journey. Yeah. Amen. Amen. First of all, we're going to um, read from the scripture which will come from the 121st Division of Psalms. And it reads, I will lift up mine eyes into the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. And this is enough to praise God for the rest of your days. Amen. we thank God again for the reading of the word. Let's take and read, come forth, and give us a word of prayer. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Eternal God, our Father, we say thank you for another day, another opportunity to come into the eyes of the Lord and into your presence to worship you in the beauty of holiness. And Father, I pray I'll go out for your people every day, Father. Our pastor, praise God, and all our sisters and brothers in Christ who are on the prayer list this morning. And to all the saints everywhere, our prayer for with them in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you have the way today, Father. Bless every soul that is listening, every soul that is in the building. Father, we ask you to bless them, Lord, oh, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Bless us and strengthen us, Lord, to help one another, Father, to encourage one another as we go this way in life, Father. We know that you are the way, praise God, and we thank you for the sacrifices that you made, that you died for our sin, that we might, praise God, be made whole and you have eternal life. So we give you praise and honor today, Father. And we ask you to bless our children today, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, help us, Lord, the young adults also, Father. Oh, they need strength, Lord. They need prayer, Lord. They need help, Lord. And so, Father, we stand here in your presence, and we pray, praise God, that you bring healing and deliverance today. We give you the praise and the honor. It's in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, name. Let us all say amen. 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 Well, That's again to come along with us and help us sing these songs to the honor and glory of God. Because he is worthy. Hallelujah. Well, I came just to give God the glory. Yeah. All the glory. All the glory. Yeah. I came just to give.
good. Perfect segue to testimony service. Yeah. You have some hot testimonies. Uh, testimony, baby. Testimony is hot. Yeah. Is anything God has done for you is gonna be good. Amen. Yeah. We have been one day. You wanna be the first one. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I was again space. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Nevertheless, we thank the Lord for this day. Because God has been so good to me, praise the Lord. Even when I didn't even deserve it, he was good to me. And, and I just want to um, say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, wherever you are, and also in here today. And, and we just thank God for another day and another opportunity. Praise the Lord. And, and I just thank God for as the song say, being so good Amen. to me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Even I'm what I'm not even worthy. Uh, 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 the, the, the blessing that he he stows upon me, praise the Lord. And I want to thank the uh, Lord for blessing my wife with another birthday on this past Amen. week. Praise the Lord again. <laughs> praise the Lord. We thank the Lord for her. And we ask the Lord to bless her with many more. Praise the Lord. And, and, and we thank the Lord for life, health, and strength. Um, thank God for traveling mercy. And I thank God for you. Also, praise God. Praise the Lord. God has been good to us. And we owe him a praise. Praise the Lord. And I'll never forget what he done for me. Praise the Lord. I never forget, praise the Lord, how he had delivered me and brought me through a um, situation that, you know, I, I, I couldn't have did myself, praise the Lord. And so I look to him, you know, where my strength comes from, praise the Lord. And, 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 and I believe in God, praise the Lord, because he's real. Yeah, he, he's a real God. He, he, if somebody got a problem with that, something wrong. <laughs> so, so, so we thank the Lord today for you, praise the Lord, and, and may the Lord continue to bless you, praise the Lord, and, and let's continue to pray for one another that the Lord might strengthen us to bring and help that one who is struggling along the way that they might know that he's God and he's real. Pray my strength, praise the Lord. Christ, the ordinary and the finisher of our faith. We thank God for another Mother's Day. We thank God for having a mother, praise yeah. God, that's here, here with us, yeah. even at 103 years old, praise yeah. God. With her health issues, with her health issues and all her, with her um, uh, uh, evening uh, dementia and when she had, God is so good to her because she knows she, once she had a, a you know, over large, I think it was over uh, irregular heartbeat, over large heart. She had an aneurysm on her aorta, calcification of her knees. That she had a whole bunch multiplicity of different things. But God is so good to her that day she's still here with us. We thank God for her. Yeah. And I thank God for the word of God. And mostly for the word of God, praise God. Yeah. Is able to save your soul, praise God. Like is able to give us a place. A refuge. Many years ago in the 40s, 50s, and those type of years, you know, people didn't have in a way they were holier compared to the way people do things now and how the world is deteriorated into sin and darkness. But you know, they didn't have the intelligence in the scripture, some of them, the older folks, but they would pass on wild things and all. And I remember it was a relative told me, said, you can't understand the Bible because it'll make you go crazy. I said, you know, in the era in which we live now, you go crazy if you don't read the Bible. <laughs> praise God. Well, this is the only thing to keep you with a sound mind and grounded now yeah. with all these different perils that are coming upon the earth. First of all, and the scripture said the last days that men's hearts are failing for the things yeah. that will come upon the earth. Yeah. Praise the Lord. You know, but I, I thank God for being in my right mind with yeah. my limbs. And we know that it's God who keeps us in our right mind. 
because all the devil is always trying to uh, uh, overwhelm you with trouble, financial, psychological, physical life, uh, physiological issues in your body, praise God. But we know it's God that keeps us today. Praise yeah. God. And we thank God for the house of God, a place of yeah. worship, where we can worship in freedom, praise God. But we know in other places, people will lose their lives for trying to serve the Lord, praise yeah. God. Yeah. And you were in one of these Muslim countries, praise God, it's against the law. They read the Bible. Yeah. I had a friend that was, he spoke fluent Arabic. He's worked for me when I was at the VA. And this guy was a retired military guy. And he worked for one of the princes in Saudi Arabia. And he told me he had seven underground churches over there. And he had one guy went and told his boss that he had these churches. And they investigated because he could have he lost his life yeah. behind that. I'm just showing you that we are so blessed to yeah. free the uh, freedom to worship God and have a place to go. And we have uh, not only young people, we have a lot of Old people that overlook that that freedom and that opportunity yeah, yeah. to serve God in spirit and truth. But I'm grateful and thank God for Amen. everything. And we ask that y'all continue to pray our strength. Amen. 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 I'll make it short. I can make it longer for brother. Praise the Lord. Give me thanks to him. I would be able to uh, Amen. give him glory. Yeah, yeah. We pray. Yeah. We're waking up and be able to move. Because yeah. a lot of help is not waking up this morning. Amen. But they are not put away just yet in God's hand. Yeah. Give them blessing, give them glory. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, thank you, Lord God. Amen. 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 Mike, I talk time that I thank and I praise God yeah. for just entering into the house of prayer this morning. I thank and praise Him for all that He did for me, yeah. for all of us. Yeah. You know, because God, we serve a good God. Yeah. Right. And right. I just thank and praise Him how He's our protector, He's our deliverer. He just every everything. Yeah. Yeah. And I just want to stand here this morning and say I thank you for sparing my life when I yeah. Amen. was in an accident on April the 30th. Amen. Praise God. You know, but it did something to my mind. Yeah. I don't, you know, I, I'm just seeking it and I'm praising him and telling him every day, Lord, I thank you for sparing my life yeah. when that car was coming into me. And praise God. I just praise God. I don't know how the young lady still do when I Still be asking yeah. people, when that, did God save a life? How did he protect her too? Yeah. I, yeah. When I passed that spot, I see the tape there, but it wasn't up that far. I said it must be where they had to get her out of the woods because the ditch was a little further down. It goes a little higher, so they must have entered up on that end because it wasn't way up, up there where I see the tape around the woods but i thank him and i praise him that i'm still here yeah. it wasn't my time and i just thank god that he gave me the strength and that right now i'm trying to go on in jesus name i thank him for all the, the healing and stuff he done for me still have a little pain in my body but you know i still give god the praise still give him the praise because if it wasn't for him praise god i couldn't do nothing 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 and i give it to him because god is my deliverer god is my healer and i thank and i give him all the glory i want y'all just pray for me I, I don't know what was going on in my mind but i still struggling a little bit when i'm in my car See him, but I, but I thank him. I praise him that I'm still driving, but it seems like I'm a little something going on with me. I don't know what it is, but praise God. I might be nervous, but I know God yeah. going to take care of me. Yeah. When I get in it, I just, you know, every little thing makes me jump and carry on right now. But I get over it in the name of Jesus. So y'all pay my strength wherever I am that I would. Amen. Let's go. Thank you, everybody.
on this Mother's Day, I want to give God praise because I, uh, too, wasn't supposed to be here on this morning with my accident. But I thank God that I'm, a, I'm allowed, I'm able to uh, move and to be able to see my children's face. I remember that night whenever I was in a car accident and just to see my kids on the camera when my mom called me, it, it, it did something to me. You know, even though somebody else's child's life was lost, I was able to see my children. And I had to turn the camera and literally cry and say, Lord, I just thank you that I'm able to see my children. I thank God that they were able to participate even in IGA this past weekend. And it just did something to me to see, you know, I know Mari is always, you know, involved in something, you know, as a little girl. But to see Junior as a teenager to want to go to church and want to praise God and want to do things without me asking or making him do anything. I just got to give God praise for that. And I just I thank God also that it's Mental Health Awareness Month. And um, like Sister Mary said, there's some triggers that still come to my mind whenever I'm driving or wherever I may be. But I thank God that mentally we are here. You know, we haven't lost our mind. Thank God nothing happened where we're disabled. So I thank God that mentally we're here and spiritually and physically. I just ask that you continue to pray for me and my family and all those in the church as we continue to grow in Jesus' name. Just he brought us here again in that land. He brought us here again. took a trip to Greensboro. Yeah. Uh, thank God for the trip. And yeah. Made that safely, made it back yeah. safely. But yeah. thank God for the message that we heard about, about timing. Yeah. Our timing is so important. And a lot of times you can miss your time. You know, but, and God, he put things in order. And sometimes we don't move in his time, we try to move in our time. And sometimes when we do that, we can miss what God has for us. And the pastor went in a lot of detail. And I said, I never heard a message quite spoke quite that way about time. You know, he said, we know who you are, you know where you are, but it's important to know the timing of God and to walk in the timing of God. It's not a time when we lose out because we don't move in his time. Amen. And he went in great detail. It was a blessing, you know. And then some of the other messages came forward that uh, the guy had to interpret what some of the other people said that you got that some people from India, some Africa, they're from different places. And they were saying how in America, we see things so differently because we haven't went through things other countries have went through. Right, right. He was saying how, you know, and most everyone of them came there said, y'all need to pray for us because in America, y'all bless. You know, he said, I don't know what y'all going through here. 
He's, but in the, in the guy in Africa, in India said the same thing. You know, we're going through so much. You know, y'all, y'all blessed. Y'all can praise God freely. Ain't nobody bothering y'all. <laughs> but we don't realize, and as Brother Washington said earlier about how we don't realize the freedom, the blessing of the freedom we have here. And uh, I mean, we had no police coming here telling us we can't say certain stuff, you know. Amen. But over there, they, they got, I mean, he, he seen this family go through so much trouble in his home because they were serving God in a certain way. And like I said, we need to praise God. A lot of times we miss that. We don't think about those things, but it help us be even more thankful for what we have. Uh, pray for us. Pray for America. But uh, we have this Americanism thing where we think we can sell them everything. No, we don't. God is still a sinner, you know. And even saying by reading the Word, the Word is is what guides us, you know. And, and again, we, well, America, we police the world, whatever the case may be. But still, we if we don't follow God, we going down too. You know, so we we have to remember that God should always stay the center of what we do. And again, pray pray for us as a church, pray for us as a nation, pray pray for the church the pastors. Leaders, because they, they are the ones who usually see things like this before. And they, they are able to tell us things that guide us in the way that we should go. You know? But again, as, as we as continue to pray for the churches and the, pray for us as a nation as well. You know? Pray for the president. A lot of people say different things, but pray for him. You know, he he needs our prayers. You know? so, and we have this election coming up. And we really need to pray now because we don't know what's, going on, what's coming up. So again, we need to pray. Continue to pray. Do you have any other testimonies? No. The team, uh, next we're going to uh, take up the uh, announcement. Praise the Lord. Our announcements are as follows. Let's unite for Mental Health Awareness Month during the month of May to support those facing mental health challenges. We are green in May to show solidarity and raise awareness. Consider donating donating to NAMI South Carolina to help those affected by mental illness in our state. Together, we can break stigma and foster empathy in our community. Thank you for your support. Our 42nd annual Holy Convocation will convene on June 19th through the 23rd. On Wednesday, June 19th and Thursday, June 20th, the service will start at 7.30 p.m. On Friday night, there will be a seminar that begins at 6.30, and this service will begin at 7.30. On Sunday, June 23rd, that service will start at 11 a.m. We're expecting a high time in the Lord, and we hope to see you there. ADECJC will be having a men's retreat on July 19th and 21st at the Lake House in CNT, South Carolina. Um, if you're planning on going, please see um, Deacon Leo Reed um, uh, to pay your balance um, by July 1st. Or you can cash out your um, uh, your, the amount to dollar sign CJC with the referring to the men's retreat. Please check out the church's bulletin board for future church invitations and events. Please pray for all who are on our prayer list, which is also posted in the back of the bulletin board. Please govern yourselves according to these announcements. We will now take up our offer. Amen. Amen. Once again, saints, we thank the Lord for every one of you today, and certainly we thank the Lord for this mother. Because mothers ought to be praised, praise the Lord. And a lot of times we don't want them to praise God because uh, they have done so much for us and they mean so much to us. And so at this time, we're going to ask you to stand, praise the Lord, and be recognized. Oh, I'm looking forward to the complication that's coming up, praise the Lord. And uh, Brother Cameron touch on one of my subjects about timing uh, in my uh, presentation, praise the Lord. But we thank the Lord for everyone today. Praise the Lord. Show yourself mighty. Show yourself strong. Show yourself awesome. In the days of the joy. In the time of trouble, you give us a song.
songs of praises. We thank you for the testimony service, Father. And most of all, we thank you for who you are, praise God. Bless your holy name today. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for the offering and the tithe. And we just thank you for your many blessings, praise the Lord, that you stole upon each and every one of us. And we look forward, praise God, and praise in your name. And praise God that the word of God come forth today, yes, Father. Yes. Bless the speaker of the hour. Thank Bless our Jesus. path as we bring forth the word. Thank Bless you. our heart. Bless our head Thank to you. hear what does say the Lord. Thank oh, you. that we might be blessed. Praise God and Thank encourage you. one another. Yes. We bless your name. We give you the praise and the honor. It's in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Let us all say amen. 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 This is how I fight my battles. 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 Come on, help me. This is how I fight my battles. 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 It may look like, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look it like, but I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Say, it may look it like, may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look it like. May look Through 
Give God a praise in the house of the Lord. I am surrounded by Jesus. We thank God. We bless you, bless you. We thank God Amen. for Amen. being a great and awesome God. Amen. We are depending on Him, and we uh, we know that without God's help, there is no help. Amen. If the enemy had His way, Amen. He would destroy us. Amen. He would uh, be. Uh, able to take us out, but we thank God, amen. God is so good that, amen, when we look around at the enemies that are around us, amen, we can ask the Lord to open our eyes, amen, so that we might see, amen, who's on our side, amen, and the angels of the Lord is encamping about us, amen, the Lord, angels of the Lord are protecting God's people, amen. We're grateful unto the Lord, amen. We thank God, amen. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the house of the Lord. Praise God. And we celebrate you today in Jesus' name, amen. And, uh, uh, our message will be a little bit around that, amen. But we are so grateful. Uh, thank God for those who uh, went out of town last week and uh, the Lord blessed them to make it back. And amen. Uh, then me and Samson, we went out uh, during this week and the Lord blessed us to go and to come, amen. And to, amen. So God is good, amen. All kind of things happen on the road, but God is a good God, amen. Let's pray for our brothers and sisters across the world. Amen. We heard from a uh, brother from Haiti. I mean, how Haiti has got a lot of trouble. And they got. A, I, I, I know the president was planning on residing in the gangs and just taking over Haiti. And uh, and uh, he gave his personal testimony that the uh, the gangs came and took his church and they took his house and they uh, raped his daughter in his house and and he's got to live out in the hills somewhere now. And, and so it is it is a very uh, bad time for them. Amen. And and, and uh, across the world, amen, people are going through so much. Amen. Yeah. Brother, uh, Samson has said, amen. We don't live in a perfect country, amen, but thank God for America. Amen. You better, you better thank God for, for where you are uh, truly and richly blessed. And we need to value uh, what we have. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. We know uh, that uh, you have. Uh, mother's plans on the day, amen, but uh, we want to share uh, from the word of the Lord, amen. So good to see the Botrix in the house, amen. Yeah. Give God praise. Yeah. Amen. 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 All the saints of God, amen. Thank yeah. God for Deacon Reed, amen. Thank God for uh, Ella Pelham, amen. Thank God for my wife, amen, her absence, and uh, Mother Myers in her absence, amen. Let us uh, continue to pray for those who we need today. The Lord is still blessing uh, his people. Amen. So I'll uh, continue to lift up the saints of God today in Jesus' name. We're going to into the book of Ezekiel this morning, uh, the book of Ezekiel, and we're going to be in the 19th chapter of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 19 chapter, we're going to read the 10th through the 13th verse. Amen. 10th through the 13th. Birthday. Thank God for all the birthdays this week. Amen. Amen. Sister Bonnie on Tuesday. And amen. Samson on the ninth. And Samuel and Brother Melvin on the day. Amen. We thank God for the Lord blessing them. And I hope, I didn't, hope I didn't miss any. Amen. If you're missing, let me know. Amen. But um, we thank God amen, for the Lord blessing us to see another year. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ezekiel chapter number 19. We're going to read again 10 through 13. It says, Thy mother is like a vine in thy blood, planted by the waters. She was fruitful and full of branches by reason of many waters. 
and she had strong rods for the scepters of them that bear rule. And her stature was ex exalted among the thick branches. And she appeared in her height with the multitude of her branches. But she was plucked up in fury. She was cast down to the ground and the east wind drying up her fruit. Her strong rods were broken and withered. The fire consumed them. Now she is planted in the wilderness in a dry and thirsty ground. Lord, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for this time that you've brought us together, Lord. Thank you for uh, just another chance, oh God, to be in your house. Praise you for the worship. Pray, God, now that you bless us as we go into your word. Speak to our hearts and to our minds that we may receive what you would have to say unto us, oh God. We're going to give you praise. We're going to give you glory. And we're going to give you all honors. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to talk this morning, amen, about her rightful place. Her rightful place. This Ezekiel chapter, uh, I wanted to read the whole chapter to you, amen, and I would encourage you to go back and read it, uh, but I did not want to weary you with reading, amen, go back and read it slowly for yourself, amen, but I'm going to kind of deal with this whole chapter, amen, and uh, this chapter is a lamentation, lamentation is a cry, amen, a, a cry of the heart is a, it is a, a pleading, it is a, a seeking, it is a, a place of sorrow, uh, but lamentation is also a, a hopeful cry because it, 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 it uh, acknowledges where uh, you are, which is in a bad condition, in a bad place. Uh, in this case, in bondage, in major trouble, amen. But also understanding the power of God to deliver. Also understanding the ability of God to to bring out and and understanding the place from which um, he or she or had fallen or the nation had fallen. Of course, this is the nation that has fallen. Amen. But I want to uh, I want to deal with this. Amen. From uh, the the point of the woman. Amen. Of course, uh, it talks about in the beginning about uh, your mother, your mother being. Uh, what is she? In the second verse, it says she is a lioness. She is a lioness. And, uh, and this lioness dwells among the pride. It is, it is a place of protection. A place of protection. And she rears her young lions. A place of protection. She trains them and she sends out the lion. Her, her cubs, and she raises them, she nurtures them, she sends them out in the world, and they grow, and they um, cause terror. They are going in the land, and they're able to accomplish, they're able to do it. Man, we know that lions are feared. They are feared by man, they are feared by other animals, amen, some call them the king of the beast. This mother, amen, she raises these king of the beasts and she sends them out. And again, when people see the lion, they run. They, they, they go into retreat. And so, uh, being so, amen, uh, as, a, as a nation, amen, Israel is this nation. Israel is the lioness. And, and the cubs, amen, is, the, uh, is what goes out and the things and the exploits that they do, amen. I know people feared Israel. And so, so they, they feared them because of their power, uh, the ability that God was with them, amen. And it was this mother who was responsible for raising them and sending them out, amen. And, and so, amen, it, it, it is that when they, they saw the lion, they would uh, capture the lion. Let us capture the lion because he's bringing fear, amen. Perhaps he's killing men, amen. It seems to be in, in, this, in this chapter talking about, amen, even killing men. So, so men come and they trap the lion and they, they capture, they kill, uh, they kill the lion. And then, then the Bible lets us know that she waits uh, to see 
her cub come back. She waits to see her, her baby come back. And she is patient to do so. And, uh, and so she's sorry when the cub does not come back. But you know what she does? She has more. She has more. Amen. And so she raises uh, other cubs. And, and they do the same thing. They bring terror. They bring uh, power. Amen. Everywhere that they go. So, so amen. In this protected place. Amen. I, I believe that that we, uh, as, as, as she has felt the protection of, of the pride, amen, uh, I believe that uh, the, the woman has to be in a place uh, that protects, amen, a place that protects, amen, especially if she be a married woman, amen, there, must, there should be a protection, amen, there, is a, there was a comfort in the uh, protection of the house, amen, of, of freedom to flow, and a, an ability to, to do what she needs to do, amen, uh, uh, in that situation, amen. And, and so, so the man physically is stronger than the woman, amen, and the man is expected to be a protector, amen. amen. When you hear the bump outside, amen, we don't send the lady out there to handle if, if there's a man in the house. You know, so baby, go check that out. We don't, we, don't, we don't want to do that, amen, because we want to be the first line of protection. That if, if there is an attack on the house, amen, that, that, I, that, that man, that male is protective and uh, able to watch over, amen, and, uh, and not only protect physically, amen, but, but there is an emotional protection that needs to happen, amen, not, uh, not a place of Abuse, Amen. It, it, it is very, uh, very bad that 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 which is should protect is is the one that that you need to be protected from. The uh, abuser, Amen. We we want to have a, a safe place, Amen. And, and I notice, Amen. As long as my house is is good and peaceful, I'm all right. But but I notice uh, that my wife like to to do certain things in the house. Anybody know somebody, no know, know wife that will put it here? How'd that look? And then the next minute is another spot. How'd how that look? That, that nest, that home is um, being taken care of, amen, while, while he is uh, the protector, amen. He's not, not that concerned about the beauty, amen. I, I, want, my, I, want, I want my space clean. And I want a place. I want my space to be peaceful. Amen. And I think most men would be good with some peace in the house, with with some cleanliness around. Amen. We don't we don't care a whole lot about how colorful the curtains might be. It's not that important. Amen. And 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 so so so. But we we protect. Amen. We make sure that it is a guarded place. Amen. This woman is able to flourish because she is in the pride. Amen. She knows. Amen. That there is protection. There is safety in the pride. Amen. So she's able to raise that young one. She's able to bring forth. Amen. That lion. Amen. To send them forth uh, to 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 accomplish. Amen. So so she works from a protected place. Amen. I'm gonna thank God that He is our protector. What does she do? Amen. So the Bible says here. Amen. Let, let's go through the verses that we did read. Thy mother is like a vine in thy blood. Now now. In context here, this blood, amen, is, uh, blood is also interpreted from uh, wine, in, uh, in, in like a vineyard, amen, and the context lets us know this here, amen. This is a talking about, amen, a branch. This is a, this is a, a place of uh, prosperity, amen. So this blood is, is the wine press, amen. It is a, it is a place of wine, amen. The, the grapes are growing. Amen. And so it is, it is divine that blood planted by the waters so that you understand, amen. We're not, talk, we're not talking about blood that is in your body, amen. We're talking about the place of the growing of, of the vine tree, amen. Planted by the waters. She was fruitful and full of branches by reason of many waters. 
So she is supplied. She has all the nutrient that she needs, amen, to flourish, to grow, and to prosper. She had, and she had strong rods for the scepters of them that bear rule. And her stature was exalted among the thick branches, amen. And so, so she continued to produce, and things were able to be cut off of her, but she continued to produce. It did not kill her. She continued to produce to the point of, amen, she had the finest of, of, of the wood, amen. She had the finest of, of branches, amen, that, that rulers could cut from her and they would have the best scepter, amen, the rods, amen. And so, so, so you know, the ruler and, and those of high stature, they're going to have the best material. So she produced the best material. And she appeared in her height with the multitude of her branches. She spread out. But she was plucked up in fury. She was plucked up in fury. Amen. So see, see where she comes from, saints. Amen. A protected place. A place of strength. A place of flourishing. Amen. A place of being able to send out and to be an influence in the world through her offspring. Amen. She, uh, she produces greatness. Amen. And I know that, that we don't place great value uh, on women as we should. Amen. But she produced greatness. Amen. What came and flowed from her was greatness. I'm going to thank God for the great women. Come on, somebody. She produces greatness. She has a great mind. Amen. She has great work. Amen. She has great uh, productivity, amen. She is able to bring forth, amen, continuously. See, when you uh, when you continue to produce, amen, it doesn't matter when things are cut off from you, amen. It, the problem comes uh, when you're putting out and you're not able to bring in. We find so many, amen, women, amen, and men that, that put out but never never is never supply amen we got to make sure that there is supply amen so that with that which is uh able to to come forth amen is replaced and it continues to flourish amen there was health there was strength amen and so amen a woman is very giving amen but she also needs supply amen because many uh will run themselves down because of the lack of supply Amen. How many know you need something to be poured back in? Yeah. You've got to be poured back into. Amen. And so while she's by the rivers of water, amen, she is still gaining. Amen. She is as a lioness, amen, having the protection of the pride, having, having the nurturing of the pride, able to lift. Amen. And so, amen, she is producing. Amen. She is bringing forth. Amen. Have I mean, thank God that he allow us to bring forth. Amen. To produce. Amen. To bring to bring life, amen, and to raise and to bring strength uh, into the world, amen, and to go forth. There is power, there is strength in her. Amen, because she is a producer, amen. She is resilient. Uh, the enemies did all that they could do to destroy her offspring. But even in her loss, she continued to produce. Even in the uh, even in some of her things that she put forth, uh, being taken away, man, and being disappointed and uh, going through all the trials of, of, of losing some of her cubs, amen, yet she continues, amen, she continues to, to, to produce, she continues to bring forth fruit, amen, saints of God and ladies, amen, don't give up when you have loss, but keep on going because, amen, there's still so much left, there's still so much supply. There's still so much life. There's still so much strength in you, amen. You're able to go forth. You're able to continue. Why? Because there is supply. Amen. I could encourage everybody, amen. Let your roots go strong in the soil, amen. Let your roots go deep in God, amen, so that if the enemy comes against you and try to destroy you, you're still standing. And the enemy be begin to be afraid of you. How many of the devil is afraid of you? He's afraid of what you produce. He's afraid of what you're bringing forth. He's afraid of what is in you. 
And so he tried to snuff it out. He tries to kill it. Amen. So the fear is not only of the offspring, but we got to, amen, there's fear of what it comes from. Amen. There's fear of what is producing it. Amen. I come to encourage you, amen, to continue to produce, continue to go forth, continue to stay planted by the water. Amen. Continue to stay there. Amen. Because there's so much more. Come on. I said there's so much more. Don't give up because something has been taken. Amen. But stay rooted and grounded. Amen. In him. Stay rooted by the waters, amen. Stay in the pride, amen. Stay among that which is protective, amen. You got so much, amen. Somebody say, I got so much. So she has so much in her. She continues to produce. She doesn't quit. She's resilient. So look what the enemy does. He says she keep putting out. She keep having these offspring. She keep on producing. Twelfth verse says, now look what the enemy got to do. Look what he's got to do. He's upset. He's upset. So what the enemy does, he, but she was plucked up in fury. She was snatched out of the ground because somebody was upset. Fear. I come to tell you the enemy is upset as, as he was with Israel. The enemy is upset because of what you produce. The enemy is upset because of what you have put forth in the earth. The enemy is upset because of what keeps coming from you. And so he attacks pulls up from the ground. Amen. In, 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 in fury. She, she was cast down to the ground. Anybody had to put something, pull something up out of the ground? What happens to it? Dries up. Supply is gone. It is, it is, it is not able to bring forth anything. Why? Because the nutrient has dried up. The nutrient is gone. East wind dried up her fruit. The fruit died. Her strong rods were broken and withered. The fire consumed them. So, so what she would put out, amen, the enemy consumes, amen, throws into the fire. Now she is planted in the wilderness in a dry and thirsty ground. She has plucked up sights. She has cast. Her branches are cut off. She is planted now. Begin to wonder, why would you pluck up only to plant again? But can't produce. So she's put on display now for what she cannot do. She's put on display now because of her inability, because it don't make sense to pluck up and to destroy the branches. They didn't kill her. They just put her in a bad place. They put her in dry ground. They put her in a place where there was no nutrient. And I believe that is to put on display now to see what was now what has happened to what was I come to tell you amen saints that God would not put us in a bad place God will not put us in a low place God wants us to remain in supply God wants us to remain in a rich environment God wants us to remain, amen, and be steadfast. Many times, amen, we have, uh, uh, we have not allowed ourselves to be in our rightful place. You can, have, you can have something good in you, but put it in the, right, in the wrong place. You can have the ability 
to grow. You can have the ability to flourish. But that, that same thing that has the ability to flourish in the wrong place will wither. Amen. You, you, got st you got plants in your garden. You got plants in your house. Amen. They let you know, amen, it needs this much sunlight and don't leave this in the sun. This needs that kind of shade. Amen. And, and if you put it in the right kind of environment, it's going to flourish. It's going to, it's going to bring forth. It's going to bring forth fruit. But you take that same plant with all that potential and all that same branch with all that potential and put it in the wrong place. Amen. It is not going to bring forth. And a matter of fact, it may even die. But thanks be to God, amen. We have the knowledge, amen. Saints of God, amen. And ladies, I want you to get yourself in a rightful place. Amen. Get yourself in a rightful place. Some of y'all need a break. You need to forget everybody else. Take yourself on a trip. Take somebody with you. Who not going not gonna bother you because some people you take with you and they'll they'll drain you. Take somebody with you that'll that's not gonna bother you. Amen. Go somewhere and recharge yourself. Amen. Get your strength together, amen, so that you can continue to produce and to bring forth and to be a blessing to somebody else. Amen. You need to get in that place. You better get a place in your prayer life, amen, when you're able, amen, to declare the things of God, amen, because when you get up, there's going to be a fight. See, the enemy want to consume everything that you have, amen. He wants to move you from your place. But I come to tell somebody, amen, when you get on your knees before God, don't let anything take you from that place because the enemy is in wait, amen. He is waiting in entrapment, trying to consume what you have, amen. But I come to tell somebody, Amen. As long as you stay rooted in the right place, the enemy cannot destroy you. He may come against you. He may fight you. Amen. He may come against your, your, your fruit. Amen. He may attack you, but he can't win. Why? Because you're rooted. You're planted by waters. Amen. And you still got strong branches. Amen. Sometimes we don't understand. How can I go through this? How can they suffer this? Amen. All the things that they've been through, but they're still going. They still have their joy. They still, amen, have their mind is still, amen, have what they need, amen, they're still able to supply, amen, why? Because I'm planted in the right place. I'm protected by the kingdom of God. I'm, I'm protected by the power of God, amen. That's who I am, amen. And so God is saying to us, amen, stay rooted, stay grounded, amen, stay in your place, amen, and if you're out of place, move into place. I want you to move in your rightful place. Take your rightful place. Come on, take your rightful place. Amen. You, 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 need to, you need to learn how, amen, to rely on God. Amen. Take your rightful place. Amen. There are many of us, amen, uh, uh, many of us, period, amen, but, but there's so many uh, women who, who are afraid to do things in church because they're afraid of criticism, amen. And everybody can't do everything in church, but I come to tell you there's some things that, that can be done, amen, things that, uh, that they can bless, amen. I'm not, I'm not just talking about frying chicken. Hear me. I'm not just talking about frying chicken. Talking about, amen, being able to function in the things of God. Function, amen. When, when God speaks to you, amen, being able to do what the Lord says, amen. Not, not, not holding back because uh, you are a woman. There are people in the house with healing hands. There are people in the house, women in the house, amen, with, with a, a, an utterance, amen, prophetic things. God speaks and God gives dreams, amen, but there is an apprehension because of, amen, fear, uh, fear, amen, because of, 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 of your gender, amen, that you're a woman. And you, you downplay what God has placed in you because you are a woman. But I come to tell you today, amen, about her rightful place. Her rightful place in the safety of God. In the safety of God. 
Saints, I come to tell you, amen, let me, let me end around this point here, amen, let me end around us, amen. You've got to have a oneness with God. You better have a oneness with God so that, that, that what comes forth from you is of God. It is of God. 1 Corinthians 6.16 6, says, What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two said he shall be one flesh. There is something about being connected in that manner. How many want to be intertwined with God? Let me tell you, intimacy is not something to play with. It's not just something that that gives you a feeling. There is a oneness that happens. There's something that happens to your mind. There's something that happens within you, amen, when there is an intimacy. I'm telling you, amen, we got to learn how to be intertwined with, with God, amen. We got to learn how to come in that kind of connection with God, amen, so that there is fundamental change, amen, a fundamental connection, amen. You understand, amen, sexually you are connected with people that you've been with. You might have you might have not seen them in 20 years, but you're connected. You're connected. So we got to be in that place with God. I'm connected with God. And a, and a natural outshoot of that, amen, you do that long enough, amen, is something is going to come forth. Thank God for the women, amen. Let's give God praise for the women. I might speak to the church, amen. The church is referred to as most any more than anything, a woman. She is a woman. Amen. Why? Because she's able to carry. A man can't carry. Not a baby. He can only do something to the seed. But he can't carry. He's not built to carry. Come on, somebody. How many thank God for the women who are built to carry? Thank y'all. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Nine months carrying something around in your belly. That's a strange thing. It's a thing that, that, that not everybody can handle. I remember watching my son rolling around. I seen elbows and knees and heads sticking out the stomach. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I'm like, wow. Like an alien or something, just rolling around. Elbow over here, knee over here. That look like a head right there. Look like a... Come on, her rightful place. Everybody stand on your feet. I said her rightful place. Her rightful place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to stay planted, y'all, by the water. I'm going to stay in the fold. I'm going to stay in the pride, amen, where, the, where I'm protected by God. I'm protected by, amen, my environment. I, I praise God, amen. The enemy is not going to destroy you, saints. I come to declare over you, amen, you're not going to lose your mind. You're, you're not going to lose your spirit. You're not going to lose your place. God declared over you today, man, you are going to be steadfast. I'm not going to be moved. I'm not going to be moved. I'm going to stay in my rightful place. I'm going to stay. I'm going to produce. As long as I live, I'm going to produce. 
long as I have breath in my body, I'm going to produce. Amen. The devil's not going to put me in a desert place. I refuse just to just try to survive in a wilderness. No branches. No fruit. I'm coming to my rightful place. Thank you, Jesus. I'm coming to my rightful place. We want to pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. A rightful place. Thank you, Lord. God, I want to praise you for your blessings. I want to thank you right now for all that you are and all that you're doing, Lord. I want to thank you, oh God, for the de declaration, Lord. And as you did it for Israel, Lord, you said you'd bring her out, God. We thank you, Lord. God, we return unto you right now in the name of Jesus. And God, we come to our right supply. Oh, God, hallelujah. Oh, God, I pray that you help us to be planted by the waters in the name of Jesus. Help us, oh, God, that the enemy does not destroy our mind, destroy our will, destroy our courage, oh, God. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus for your covering right now, Lord. Cover us in your blood. Cover us, oh, God. Surround us with your strength right now, God. Bless us and watch over us right now, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray for flourishing. I pray for flourishing, God. I pray pray that you will move God that we're able that our branches will go forth and everybody can recognize oh God that we are supplied God that we are a people of fruit in the name of Jesus oh God help our branches to spread forth God oh God that kings and rulers can recognize oh God and, and can draw from us oh God and oh God pull from us God but oh God even in the last time oh God that we would be able to continue to produce oh God continue to put forth in the name of Jesus us. Oh God, we lose a branch, we'll grow another God. Even show the Lord in the name of Jesus. Bless God. Help us to walk into our rightful place. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare that I'm in my rightful place. Come on, say, Lord, put me in my rightful place. Put me in my rightful place. Thank you, Lord. My prayer is strong. I declare today, man, you will not be destroyed. I declare you will not be cast down. The sun will not dry you out. In the name of Jesus. God is repositioning you. Those who have been in a desert place. God is repositioning you in the name of Jesus. And whatever potential, whatever power is on the inside, amen, is going to bring forth and is going to come forth in the name of Jesus. You will flourish again. You will flourish again. You will flourish the greater, the greater measure. You will be stronger than you were before. Come on, you will be stronger than you were before. You'll be more potent than you were before because they need you. Come on, I say they need you. In the name of Jesus, they need you. The world need to see you. Your family need to see you. They need to see you flourish. They need to see you come forth. They need to see you come out. They need to see you produce. Come on. Amen. The world needs to see you produce. Uh, yes, sir. Your child need to see you produce. Everybody need to see the branches that come from you. They need to see the power that comes from you. They need to see the anointing that comes from you. They need to see your seed that goes forth. And the devil need to be upset and afraid of you. I say the enemy will be afraid of you. Thank you, Jesus. But I'm planted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody give God some praise in this house. Come on, come on, come on. Give him some praise in this house.
Thank you, Jesus. Rightful place. Amen. You may be seated. We're about to go in the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to make that, that plea. Amen. There's somebody out there, amen, who may even be viewing us, and then you, uh, you have not made up your mind. You're in the wrong place, amen, because you're not saved. Amen. The scripture says, repent to be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I encourage you to get in that place so that the Lord might use you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We praise God. Amen. Y'all could have just stayed standing. Amen. Let's stand. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I told you to have you see, man. Pray for um, uh, the Dees family. Um, Bishop Dees is also his sister one day and his mother the next day. Um, that was in the middle of last week sometime. But, amen. Pray for them. Amen. Pray for that. I think the Maldries. And, and, amen. Pray for them in Jesus' name. Amen. That's tough to lose one person, but uh, to um, one day after the other. Amen. Pray for them. The Lord will bless them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God. One more time, let's give our mothers a hand. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We about to dismiss. Lord, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you, Lord, for keeping us. We thank you for watching over and protecting us. In all things, God, we give you praise for your word. We thank you for the worship. I pray that you continue to bless and be strengthened right now. Will God help us, oh God, to keep us as we leave this place, but not your presence. God, we're going to ever and continue to lift you. We're going to continue to praise you, oh God, and magnify your name, oh God. Be with us until we're able to come together again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.